if you can even see me. I hope so. I take this under my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And then I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm going to take the air spun translucent formula, translucent extra coverage powder on my damp sponge, set it under my eyes, and then blend it in. And take it on the forehead, nose, and chin, and use whatever else is on the sponge for the rest of the face. Sunny bronzer. Take it, go over the contour, forehead, on my jawline. And then I'm going to go back to the e.l.f. bronzer palette and take the darkest shade and go just the back of my contour to deepen it up. And go back with my bronzing brush and blend it out. Hills highlighter. I'm going to take the champagne shade. Go right in the cheekbones. On the tip of my nose. On the cupid bow. Chin. And then I'm going to take that same shade and put it in my inner corner. This is a Morphe M167. I'm going to take it, put it right in my inner corners to open up the eyes. I'm also going to put it under my brow. Milani Fake Blush and Rose D'Oro. Put that on my cheek. always put a little extra because when I go with my setting spray and my sponge, it always takes away some product, so I always put a little bit extra. it all in with my sponge. I'm going to take some more highlighter and put it on the very tips of my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take my sponge and then pat it all in. become 
only because I'm not doing any eyeshadow today. We're going for more of the classic wing liner look and red lips. But the red lips are going to be in the top. My NYC liquid liner in black. I'm just going to create a wing. While that dries, I'm going to get my lashes ready. I'm using these lashes that I got off AliExpress. Like this. They're kind of spiky. When I first got them, I thought they were way too big to wear. After a couple of times wearing them, I got used to them. And I like the way they look on my eyes. I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara before I put my lashes on. I'm just using the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara in black. I like this mascara, but I think it's too wet. It kind of weighs my eyelashes down. And I already have straight lashes, so it doesn't work out very well. Okay. Now, while I wait for the mascara to dry, I'm going to put some glue on my lashes and wait for those to get tacky. I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in clear with aloe vera in it. Wait for those to get tacky. I think I may want to add a little more eyeliner. <laughs> so I wanted this look to be very glowy. Big lashes and red lips. Also, I take this wet and wound, it's just a brown eyeliner, and I just go over the mold that I have on my cheek because it's covered up with makeup. I like it to be more prominent. Just go over that, and then the one I have right here. Just to make it stand out more without removing the makeup from it. To dry a little bit. I'm gonna put on some mascara over it. Just a little bit. And then when the glue dries, I'm gonna go over it with some more black eyeliner to cover it up. Just a little bit of bottom mascara because I don't like I don't like them to look heavy. I got a 
down to my island. Now for the lips, I know what lipstick I'm going to use, I just don't know what lip liner to use, or if I even should use a lip liner. I think I'll just use this one. It's a Milani lip liner in rose pink. Just outline the lips. Take off some of that chapstick over one. It's going to outline. Matte Luffy and Avenue. I love ColourPop. I think I have almost every ultimate look that they have. Let that dry. going with the Malmani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream over that. Alright, then after that, the look is done. Just take my hair on. Let the mane loose. Alright. That's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.